Set number four, question number 16 to 20. Four cities, A, I, P and D were analyzed to find the major cause of deaths in the last 40 years. The three major causes were famine, violence and plague. And the area chart gives the percentage distribution of the causes in the four cities. So these are the four cities we are talking about. And these are the three causes of death. Uh, since this is an area chart and this is 20%, this is 30 we can see that uh, uh, this is going to be around 25 percentage. So for the city Athena, overall the total deaths that happened, 25 percent was because of the plague. And similarly, this is 60 percent. So 25 to 60, this is 35 percent. So we can say the total deaths whatever those were 35 percent was that because of the violence and this is remaining 40 percent this is because of famine similarly we can calculate for i p and d the other three cities okay the next one is a line chart given below shows the percentage distribution of two of the attributes across the four decades so since we're talking about 40 years so decades means 10 years, 0 to 10, the first 10 years, the next 10 years and so on. How many deaths happened because of plague and violence? So in the decade of 0 to 10, this was 5 percentage because of plague and 35% uh, was because of violence. All the values in both the charts are multiples of 5 percentage. So this will help us figure out the values easily. So we don't have to worry whether this is 24% or 24.5 or 25. This is 25 percentage. So having understood this, uh, now let's look at the conditions. It is known that the number of deaths in each of the four decades for each of the four cities were a single digit prime multiple of uh, 1 lakh. Okay, so these were prime number lakhs, 2 lakh, 3 lakh, 5 lakh, 7 lakh and so on. And the total number of deaths were such that it follows this order. Within every decade, the number of deaths in three of the cities were the same and the fourth had a different number of deaths. Okay, that means we have certain conditions which help us, uh, which will help us figure out how many deaths happened because of which reason. So if I pick up a, lit, a particular city, let's say if I pick up city A, so city A may we have got uh, two things. One is uh, because of so, famine, violence or plague, how many deaths are happening first? And secondly, in each decade, how many deaths take place? So, we need to figure out this entire distribution. Similarly, we will have to look into the next city, the next city. So, we have four cities to take care of. For that, we have these statements and then we have these percentage distribution. For example, 25% is because of plague. So plague is 25 percentage overall. So if I say total deaths of city A is A, so 25% of A is because of plague, 35% is because of violence and the remaining 40% is because of famine. Similarly, if I talk about the total number of plagues because of city the problem here is we do not know city wise how much happened we simply know that out of total number of deaths that took place uh, five percent fall in this particular decade and 35 percent fall in this particular decade so we do not know city wise so we need to club them together using the con given conditions so let's first of all simplify the area chart and the line graph with proper percentages okay so if i talk about the area chart we have these four cities as the rows and the deaths due to the reasons as the columns so if i talk about athenia this is 25 percentage uh, if we talk about uh, violence, uh, this is uh, 35 percentage and payment is 40 percent. So this is something we have already calculated. If you talk about Istanbul, this is definitely less than 25 percentage. So this is 20 percent for plague. Uh, this one is going to stop at 40. So it's not even 40. 40 will go here and 30 is here. So this is between 40 and 30 actually. 
definitely less than 40 more than 30 so this one has to be 35 percent so 20 percent up to here 35 percent up to here that will mean 15 percent that tells us the remaining 65 percent will be because of FEMI. let's talk about parisia now now for parisia we have this particular value which looks to be above 30 again this is definitely above 30 it's in the same line right so 35 percent for plague what about violence for violence we will need the upper two okay so this is 35 so this is the next okay so this one is 60 this one is 50 60 so can we say this is 55 percentage and we are at 35 percentage over here so this should be 20 percentage 35 plus 20 is 55 so we will have 45 percentage here right okay uh what about uh, damascus here this is where we need to go so this is 50 percent se zada and 60 percent se come so this is 55 percentage so you can use the ruler on this screen okay or the page that you have what about the next one this is definitely more than 10 percentage as a more than 90 percentage so you kill 5 percent over if that is 5 percentage that means the middle one is 40 percentage okay so this is how the distribution uh, of uh, Percentage distribution for each of the cities is going to be calculated under the area graph. Now, let's talk about decade wise. So, if you look at 0 to 10, 5 percentage is because of plague, then 5 percentage for the next decade, then suddenly this is a jump of 60 percent, then there is a decrease of 30 percent. So, 5, 5, 60, and 30 is 100 percent. If we talk about violence, the orange one, this is 35 percentage in the first decade then this is 10 percentage in the next then it turns out to be 15 and then it turns out to be 40 percentage so the feminine breakup is uh, has to be made such that the percentages add up to give us 100 so it's not uh, horizontally that we can calculate so this is something we can't calculate right now for the feminine part okay now let's use the additional statements and uh, club both of them as in club both of them as in we need to now find out city wise what will be the distribution decade wise how many people died so for that we need these statements okay so the first statement says it is uh, the number of deaths in the four decades they are in multiples of lakhs so i will say one lakh and uh, single digit prime multiple of 1 lakh single digit prime multiple of 1 lakh we have only 2 3 5 and 7 right okay so The numbers that we have to write for each decade everywhere in this particular place has to be only these four numbers. Right? Okay. The next statement says within every decade, next condition, the number of deaths in three of the cities were same, and uh, the fourth had a different number of deaths. The fourth different number was unique for each of the decades. So that means suppose in this we can have three twos and a three then we can have let's say three twos and a five or maybe three threes and a five so it says that the fourth different number was unique so it means that we will have a two or three or five and a seven for each of the four decades and the same number is going to be repeated for three decades not necessarily in the same order for the country for the cities Okay, be order me Maybe we can have two, three, two, two also possible. So what is the sequence? We don't know that yet. 
the total number of decade deaths in the decade 30 to 40 was double of each of 0 to 10 and 10 to 20 that means the sum of these two numbers are going to be same now how is this possible kiska sum same over so let's start with the minimum possible so if i take 2 2 2 and 3 this is going to be 8 i need another 8 so 8 ke liye we can't do anything else okay what if we take this as let's say 5 so this is 11 for 11 we can have 3 3 3 and 2 yes this can be 11 okay uh, what if we don't take a 5 but if we take a 7 so this is going to be 7 plus 6 13 out of which 9 is already there so we need a 4 that's not possible now instead of 2 we can have uh, threes also we can have three threes and a two this can shift here and then we can have a two 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 and a five so we have these two possibilities both will result in 11 sorry not eight 11 they can interchange with decade zero to ten being the one with three lakh deaths in at least one city okay so that makes sense this tells us that we are going to have uh, three threes and a two here total to 11 here. while 10 to 20 we need 11 here and that 11 is going to be formed by taking three twos and a five now where will the two from zero to ten will go and where will this five will go we don't know that okay this statement says for all cities, two decades had the same number of deaths, unique from each other among cities and the other two decades had a unique number of deaths. So, if I talk about, let's say the city A. So, two of the values are, let's say, A, A and the other two are B and C. So, for all cities, two decades had the same number of deaths, let's say these two decades unique from each other among cities so if we have a a we can't have the same combination so column wise also we have uniqueness here and the other two decades had a unique number of deaths so b and c so we need to have a different set of and all the values are going to be from two three five seven only so we'll understand this as in we'll remember this the city with the maximum number of deaths, which happens to be A, didn't have the maximum possible deaths in a decade twice. That means we can't have two 7 lakhs here. So maximum we can have a 7 lakh here. A 7 lakh ho sakta. So how to now further proceed? So from the first statement, uh, we can see 2, 3, 5 and 7. These are only allowed. Now, uh, the city with the maximum number of deaths is this and that is this. Okay. See, a particular city will have uh, 7 and 7. Okay. Which city, I don't know. So, let's talk about one city will have two sevens and one city will have two fives, one city will have two threes and one city will have two twos, right? Using D statement. Okay. Ab, Athenia is the largest, but it has only one seven. So definitely that seven comes here. So in order to understand this, can we say that if we have three three seven, le liya, 337 is 13 and a 5. Then even if I take 7732, so 7 plus 7, 14 plus 3 plus 2 is 19. And 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 is 18. So Athenia will be uh, can't be larger 7 lene ke baad bhi. Athenia has only single 7. And a single 7, even if with 533, doesn't give us the largest. So Ye three, three ke saath ho sakta. It can only come with 7. Now, uh, this is 17 as of now. So, 17 hai, I will need more. So, what is the maximum we can have? 
we can have next three because five and seven to repeat ho nahi sakta. And uh, with seven as the seven lakh as the deaths twice, the lowest possible we can have is three two. So this is fourteen plus five nineteen, and this is twenty. So that means. Total deaths in Athenia is 20 lakh. So let's not write L. We will remember that. Let's not bring in extra letters. And Istanbul may 19 hoga, where for Athenia it is going to be 7553. And for Istanbul it is going to be 773 and 2. So that Athenia has only 17, it's still the largest. Okay. Fine. So this is 20 and 19. Next is uh, we can have we are going to have uh, a Persia and Damascus here. Let's look into those two. So if you look at these two, we will have two threes and two twos now. Okay, and 19 se kam chahiye hume. Okay. Let's read the B statement. Within every decade, the number of deaths in three of the cities were the same and the fourth had a different number of deaths. So, if you talk about within the same decade. So, from here, can we say that the, uh, the decade with two deaths thrice and the decade with three deaths thrice should have the same number of deaths? 11, 11 hone wala. Okay, so ye fix ho gaya. Okay, so we have used B to figure this out. Uh, let's E is also done. The total number of deaths in the decade 30 to 40 was double of each of the decade. So this is 11, 11. So that means this is 22. Now, how can I make a 22 using three sevens and a five? Not possible. Three fives and a seven. Yes, so we can have three fives and a seven here. Now, three twos, three threes, and three fives ho chuka hai. That means we will have three sevens here. And we have two, five, and seven. That would mean we will have a three here. So 21 plus three, this is 24. Okay. Uh, if we talk about A, And 7553, five, can we say Sudoku use karte? I can't write a 7 here for A because 7 doesn't exist. We can only have a 3. Right? So for A, if we have a 3 and uh, we are going to have a 7 here, this is the only way. This is 5, this is 5. So the rows and column, they do both match right now. Next. So we will strike out the values that we have already considered. A 3 has been considered, this 5 has been considered, this 7 has been considered, 1 5 has been considered. So we are done with Athenia. Now let's look at Istanbulia. So we need two sevens. The only way we can have two sevens if we have two sevens here. Right? So A x7 or further use ho gaya, x7 use ho gaya. We don't have a 7 under in these two decades. Next, we need a 3 and a 2. The only way we can have a 2 is by taking a 2 from here and a 3 from here. So, this is also completed and 1, 3 is also done and 1, 2 is also done. Now, because of this, we are forced to put 2 and 2 here. Right? Okay. And we are forced to put 5 and 5 here. Now, if I put a 3 here, and if I put a 3 here, this will make sense. And if I put a 2 here, and if I put a 7 here, this one will also make sense. So, if I put 3, 3, put, see we need 3, 3's here and uh, 2, 3's and 2, 2's here. So, 3 plus 3 is 6, 8 plus 5 is 13 and we will have uh, 7 plus 4, 11 plus 5, 16. But if this is taken, will this follow that Athenia is larger than Parisia and Parisia is greater than Istanbulia and Istanbulia is greater than Damascus? Nay. 
अच्छा सॉरी स्थान बुलिया इज सपोज टू बी बिलो सॉरी सॉरी कंप्लीट मिस्टेक हेयर ओके लेट्स क्विकली रेक्टिफाई दैट एरर The sequence is not the same as the inequality here. After Athenia, we have Parisia. So seven seven three two should go below seven seven three two, and between Parisia and Damascia. Uh, so we have Istanbulia and Damascia. They are going to have three three two two. Okay, let's quickly fill this up. Uh, we need a seven here. Okay, we have filled up a three. We have done with a five. We are done with a seven. We are done with a five. So because of this five, now all of these are going to be a two. So that means we are done with the two. If we are done with the two, we need two sevens and the three. The only way we can have two sevens and the three is if we take a seven here and a seven here and a three here. This makes one three vanish. Um, They all are done. One more seven vanish, and this seven vanish. This forces now all the values to be five and five. So five five is done. So we are done with seven seven three two. Parisia complete. This is completed. Now we need a three and a two, and a seven and a three needs to be put. किसी भी order में होगा that will make sense. So If I take a three here and a three here, let's say, so this two goes here and this seven goes here, so the sum of the values for Istanbulia will be thirteen. This is nineteen, and for Damascusia will be nine uh, plus seven sixteen. So does it follow that Athenia is the largest, second largest is Parisia, the third largest is Istanbulia, and the least is Damascusia? No, it doesn't. So sixteen and thirteen, they are gone. So we can't put these values here. So that means we need to reverse it. So ये two इधर जाएगा. We will have a three. We will have a three, and we will have a seven. Says that uh, four plus seven, eleven plus five, sixteen, and then we will have uh, eight plus five, thirteen. Right. This makes sense, right? Says that Damascusia is the lowest, Istanbulia is the second lowest. So let's write on the values now. So we have two twos and a seven and a five. We have two fives and a seven and a three. So let's write down in a sequence where it will make sense. It will be easy to keep track, right? We will have two same values, increasing order. So we will have a three, and we'll have two fives and a seven. Then we have two twos and a five and a seven. Then we have a two and a three and two sevens, and then we have uh, a single two, two threes and a five. Okay. Now once this is done, let's try to involve this and find out. What were the causes of deaths for each of these cities in each of these decades? So for that we will need these two percentage distribution. Okay, so let's start with that. So if we look into the uh, the breakup of city versus uh, the death cause and the city versus the decade. uh the magnitudes are written in yellow and the percentages are written in white so now what we can do is we can club them together into a single table where we can have uh, uh city versus uh, the reason or the magnitude uh why the deaths happened so if you look at athenia we know that this is a total of 20 lakhs this is 16 lakhs 19 lakhs and 13 lakhs so we are going to copy it from total the recent most calculation and uh, if we calculate the uh, total number of people who were who were dead because of plague in athenia this was 25 percentage of 20 lakh which is going to be 5 lakh 
because of violence, this is 35% of 20 lakhs. So this is 7 lakhs. 40% of 20 lakhs. This is going to be 8 lakhs. For Istanbul, yeah, this is 20% of 16 lakhs, which is uh, going to be 3.2 lakhs. 15% of 16 lakh is going to be 2.4 lakhs. These all numbers are in terms of lakhs. And then 65% of 16, which is 8 plus 15% uh, 2.4, so 10.4 lakhs, such that their sum is 16. Now, if you look at Paris here, 35% of 19. So 35 into 19 is uh, 715. So this will result in 7.15 lakh. Then we have 20% of 19. Sorry, uh, 20 of 19. So I calculated with 13. It has to be 6.65. Then we will have 20% uh, of 19, 3.8 lakhs. And then we will have 45% uh, of 19 which is going to be 35% plus 10% so 1.9 more so 8.55 right so 1.9 more than Paris here if you look at Damascus here it's 55% of 13 55 into 13 is 715 so this is the mistake I did 40% uh, of 13 so 13 into 4 is 52 so this will be 5.2 lakhs and then 5% uh, of 13, so which is going to be 0. 0.65 lakhs. 10% is 1.3, so 0. 0.65. So if we count the total number of uh, people who were who died because of plagues, this is 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 13, plus uh, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, plus 1. So this is 22 lakhs. If you look at violence, this is 9 plus 8, 17, 18. So this is 18.4. Because of famine, we have uh, 18 plus 8, 26, 26 plus 27.6. Total we will have is 20, 30, 40, 50 and then 68, 68 lakh vertically or horizontally. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, let's draw a new table where instead of city versus the reason or the cause of the death we will have decade versus the cause of the death and the same table that we solved before so if you talk about uh, the total number of people who died in the decade 0 to 10 uh, this is uh, simply 11 right so we'll be using these values now to fill this up 11 11 24 and 22 now the percentage distribution is given to us, 5% of 11 lakh, uh, okay, no, this is plague total 5% exists. So this will add up to give us 11, so this has to be 68, same number of people died, right? Okay, so 30%, no. We know that total 11 lakh people died in the decade 0 to 10. And then because of uh, violence also they died. So can we say this is going to be copied further 22, 18.4 and 27.6 because these are the number of people died because of the reasons now we are supposed to calculate now 22 lakh of 5 percent which is going to be uh, 1.1 lakh because 10 percent is 2.2 similarly we will be calculating 5 percent of 22 this is also 1.1 lakh 60 percent of 22 will be 1.32 lakhs sorry 13.2 lakhs 30% of 22 will be half of that, so that will be 6.6 .6 lakhs. Similarly, 35% of 18.4 will be 6.44 lakhs. 10% will be 1.84 lakhs. 
15 percent will be 184 plus 92 which is 2.76 40 percent will be double cut double so 1.84 double and then double of that 7.36 now, obviously, we know the total sum uh, row wise. So we have 7.54. So we are left with 3.46 as feminine, 2.94. So that will become 8.06. 13 plus 2, 15. 15.96. And we need 24. So that is uh, 10 second, 9 second. So 8.04. And 6.6, 7.36. Uh, 13.96 Achha, same with a difference of 2 so 8.04 for this also so once we have calculated these and these numbers are in lakhs we can now proceed over to look at the questions question number 16 which decade had the maximum feminine deaths so since we are talking about decade let's look at this particular table had the maximum feminine deaths. So we can see that 8.06 is the largest and that happens to be decade 10 to 20. So option B is going to be the answer. Question number 17. What was the number of deaths in the decade 20 to 30? So we are talking about the decade. So the total number of deaths that happened in the decade 20 to 30. Uh, here, since it's a theta question, do not forget to use five zeros here. Reason being the answer is not 24, but rather 24 lakhs. So five, 24 followed by five zeros is important. Question number 18. How many people died from the plague in Damascus in the four decades? So we are talking about city wise. So let's look at this particular table. In the Damascus, under the plague, we have got 7.15 lakh people uh, who died. Since it's a theta question, so do not forget to put in uh, 715 followed by three zeros. So the answer is 715 Question number 19, which city had two lakh deaths in two of the four decades? So Athenia doesn't have uh, 2 lakh deaths in two of the four decades. Istanbulia has this scenario. Parsia did not have and Damascus also doesn't have. So the answer is going to be option B, Istanbulia. Question number 20. What is the total number of deaths in all the four cities in the four decades combined? So we know that it is 68 lakhs for all the cities, all the decades, uh, all the causes combined. So the answer is going to be option C, 